Welcome back to Wazaday, where Wazaday is Wizardry 3, The Legacy of Lil Gaiman. A 1983 release running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2. I'm starting on the boot side. Uh, apparently this is version 4 of the game. This is the third Wizardry scenario. And this is maybe the most difficult game to start I've ever played for the series. A generation has passed in the small kingdom of Little Gaiman since an intrepid band of adventurers regained the ancient and powerful Staff of Gnilda. Under the protection of the staff and the wise guidance of those same adventurers, Little Gaiman has become a place of beauty. For years, however, strange tales of freak disasters have been whispered from ear to ear. Only the foolish and the very wise paid any attention. But when the formerly peaceful seas surrounding the island colony of Arbathia rose up and swallowed it, and a massive earthquake damaged the Temple of Ganilda, all Lil Gaiman knew that something was very, very wrong. The sages of Lil Gaiman all agree that there is but one hope, a mystic orb, with which they can at least determine what is causing the disasters. The orb is guarded by the Great Dragon. Look at Beth. Look at Breath. The sages call upon you, the descendants of the heroes of the Knight of Diamonds. You gotta win the orb, which... They can use it to save the world. Okay. Now you must go forth and do the unknown to save your people. This is the legacy of Little Gaiman. Yeah, so uh, you can't um, can't uh, create a character with this game. You have to import a character from Wizardry 1 or 2. Uh, you also have to make a scenario disc. So I'm going to show you how to do all that today here on Waza Day. Uh, so we're not going to start game, we're going to hit you to go into utilities. And then first thing we got to do, first we're going to make a scenario disk. Hit M. Uh, and what you want to do here, you want to have two drives for this. I'm going to hit two. Uh, so I'm going to place the master scenario disk in drive two. So I'm going to eject. I'm actually just going to go ahead and do that in drive two here. I'm going to, uh, so this is the one that comes with the Waza Day a release of this game, but this is another Waz that I found uh, with a copy of the manual of the game. But this is part of the frustration. I couldn't get any emulator to recognize this uh, Waz a day uh, Waz image as a master scenario disc. Every time I would do it, uh, it would not uh, accept it. Um, but this one, it'll take. Uh, so I'm press return. And now we need a blank disc in drive one. What we got to do here in virtual two, we're going to eject. Drive one. And then we're going to create blank diskette. And what we're going to do there is we're going to do initialize for DOS 3.3. You got to initialize for DOS 3.3. Let's save. Let's press return. We'll start copying. Uh, so it's going to count down from 12 to 0. Uh, if you do one disk drive, you got to swap those disks out 12 times to make this master scenario disk. Uh, I'm going to do emulator fast forward though. There we go. Now we gotta eject and go back to the boot side. I'm gonna keep it fast forward for right now, because we're gonna do a good amount of loading here. Good amount of disk swap swapping. That's what you came here for. Uh, so let's go back to the boot side. Press return. And now we've got a scenario disk, but we don't have any characters. We could we could start the game, but we couldn't play it because we don't have any characters. Uh, this is probably why there's like no video of this game on YouTube that I could find. Uh, <laughs> there's somebody showing that little demo mode at the start. Um, but there's no actual gameplay. Let's uh, press return. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a scenario disk uh, into drive one. And we have to create that in wizardry one or two. Uh, so I've gone ahead and done that with wizardry one. And I'll make another video for that. And I'll probably link it in the description below. And maybe I'll even put a card on here. Let's go ahead and eject drive one. And then we're going to insert that uh, Ultima... Or not Ultima. I keep saying Ultima, probably. Wizardry. Disk image that I made. Press return. We got our characters here. I'm going to hit A. Transfer my first one. I didn't put any passwords on these guys. I'm going to hit Enter. And then now we got to uh, use that scenario disk that we just made. I probably should not have left these both untitled because it's going to get very confusing here. But we got to go back to Wizardry 3. Press return. It's been moved. All right, let's hit T again. Got to transfer these one by one. Let's repeat that. Now 
This is Retro Gaming. Hit B. No password. I don't know what the uh, optimal wizardry party size is. Three is a good trade-off between uh, having to do this a lot and not having to do this a lot, I guess. Uh, <laughs> okay, making sure I'm doing the right disc here. All right, move, move that character, and then let's move this last guy. I gotta go back to Wizardry 1. Then hit C. No password. Uh, for $15, if you lose your password, you can uh, send your disk back uh, to Surtec and have them recover your password. But, um, yeah, we're not gonna do that today. Move characters 2. We're gonna go back to their Wizardry, Wizardry 3 disk. Sorry, this is very confusing. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> I put it in drive two. Bear with me here. Oh, wait. Do I need to go back to the Wizardry 1? Oh man. Okay, so we put it back. Okay, so that's what happens if you mess up. <laughs> I just had to show that off. Uh, we still got... Okay, so we gotta move him. Alright. So we wanna do, uh, Drive 1. As you can see, this is pretty confusing. Let me double check here. Okay. Return. Card has been moved. Okay, good. Leave now, and then we gotta go back to the boot disk. And you're not even gonna believe what we gotta do next. Although you can probably guess. Let's go back to the boot disk. And let's hit S. Let's finally start the game. Uh, so now we're gonna eject the boot disk. And then we're going to insert the original Master Scenario Disk, the one that worked. Otherwise, it won't recognize it. Press Return. And now we're going to make the dis uh, insert the disk we just made. That has the Master Scenario and three characters. That we can uh, draw inspiration from. And a secret ritual. Let's do... Edge of Town. Training Grounds. Let's start us here, roster. Yep, there we are. Uh, let's slow it back down here. I don't want to accidentally be sped up. Okay. Uh, and now, we can uh, go ahead and pull our characters in. No password. Gotta hit R for the Rite of Passage. And you can uh, change your alignment if you want. Um, the ne neutral. Uh, okay. So we've got, we've got them Rite of Passage. Leave. Uh, and then let's do Frodo. Do the Rite of Passage for them. Good. Leave. And then let's do Lucky. Let's do the Rite of Passage. Uh, I think what I had was good. Let's leave that. And then leave. Let's go back to Little Gaming. Hit return. And now we can go to Gilgamesh's Tavern and add them to our party. You have no idea how long this took me to figure out. Uh, the, the manual is basically no help for any of this. Uh, I mean, it is in a way, but I guess you had to be there in the 80s to know uh, exactly what you needed to do. Or I've played the other Wizardry games, which I have not done. Uh, I played, like, Wizardry 6 for Move a Day, my series where I look at Macintosh games. I don't think I've looked at any other uh, Wizardry games on the Apple II here. Um, we got a party together. Let's leave. 
Let's go to Bolt Axe Printing Post and get some equipment. Tip one. Buy. So we've got a fighter. Uh, hit oh, P for purchase. Two. Just what you needed. And then I'm going to hit F for forward. See if we can get. Uh, let's get a round. Purchase a round shield. Or just what you needed. Got a, got that heater shield. I don't have enough for a uh, cuirass. Um, got enough for mage's robes. Well, that short sword plus, plus one. That's uh okay. So I guess he won't have any um any armor other than the shield. Uh, two. Bye. Short sword. Just what you needed. Let's see what else we got. I think it's the same things. I don't think I have enough cash. To L. Let's get some stuff for Lucky. Uh, wait, no. I gotta hit L again. Hit three. Uh, buy. I could probably pull gold to get, um... To get more armor, but I'm gonna hit, uh, purchase a staff for this guy. And, uh, maybe the mage's robes. For my mage. Purchase six. Just what you needed. Okay. Right, that sounds good to me. It is good that it tells you uh, what things are useless for what characters. Uh, you got the N, you can do the temple, or you can uh, get rid of the image or hit E. And hit M to get into the maze. We're now entering the legacy of Lil' Gaiman. The real wizardry 3 starts here. One moment. All right, we got, uh, let's go ahead and equip. One. 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 Oh, I probably should have got that guy a shield. One. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and roll out. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this uh, helps you get into the game. Uh, if we take those stairs, we'll go right back out. I'm hitting in. Or no, uh, so we can hit O to turn off this uh, heads-up display. Uh, I believe we can hit W to move a step forward. A to turn left. D to turn right. It's Wazzy, folks. Ouch. X to turn 180. Oh, maybe not. They, they removed that for this uh, uh, wizardry. I'm looking at the wizardry 1 manual because the wizardry 3 manual doesn't actually have any controls. Um... <laughs> I don't know how to open doors, that's the other thing. Oh, that's not it. Ouch. It looks like it's all doors. Let's hit I. Looking. Found. None. Okay. I don't know, maybe I need, just need to be uh, inspecting more. Let's hit I for inspect. None. To S. Okay, S is status. K. Oh, okay, K is open. Okay. It has the controls right there, AWDK. <laughs> We're getting into a battle here. 
got uh crawling kelp and strange plants um i guess we're gonna fight let's see how it goes f one f one s oh man nope <laughs> let's parry let's see how it goes here I have no idea if we're going to die in our uh, first encounter here. Oh, uh, somebody died. I'm dead. Uh, let's run. Let's get out of here. <laughs> With our wife. Can we find the stairs? So it is K uh, to open doors. Okay, confirmed. K will open a door and go right through it. So those are the controls. Um, so, yeah, see if we can... Let's find out if we can heal. I don't know. Oh, man. Sit T. Can we, can we help our dead guys? Who will die? Uh, I don't think we got that cash. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to? Do you just want to roll back out with Frodo? I don't know if we can retrain. Uh, let's see if we can re-resurrect -re our guys. Find out, Star. Dead, dead. Um, can we train a dead guy? Let's answer the important questions here. Do a rite of passage. Already a legacy, so no, you can't. Um, leave. After all that setup, uh, to die on the first uh, encounter, a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrating. Um, I'm hitting A there. Oh no! Uh, did I disband my party? Oh, I can. Can I? Uh, can I? Can I get these dead people back in here? Dead. Okay. Uh, maybe 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 it'll get better. Um Sleeve. Let's go uh well at least I can get their money, right? Can I can I get their money? Let's find out. Um let's go to the adventure zen. Uh I'm gonna have Frodo stay because he's the only one living one. Um You know, do the cots stables? I don't know. Let's do, let's, let's do cots. Heal up a little bit. Oh, apparently you can uh, level up there too. Um, did the stables do anything? Oh, okay. Uh, let's hit return. Let's see. Return to leave. Let's go to Boltax Trading Post. See if we can pull some. Dead people's gold. Um, a two to enter. He pulled gold. Oh, we got their gold. Okay. The B. Uh, let's go forward and see if we can buy some armor, maybe. He's got one forty six. I don't think I don't think Frodo has a shield. Get the round shield. Uh, cuirass. Uh, Across, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, uh, let's go backward by the round shield. P four, just what you needed. Let's see how long this guy lasts after we equip him. Uh, leave, leave, return. All right, he's all healed up. He's all. Equipped up. Let's uh, equip him once we get to camp here. I don't know what these uh, dead people are going to do. Let's, um... Oh, he's already... Alright. 
Got Frodo equipped up. Bringing our dead party members back into the dungeon. Let's see how it goes. I think uh, any any party member you import gets uh, busted back to level one, so it's not an issue where I'm just like I should have leveled them up. Um, there's a snake behind that first door. Let's do this one. An encounter. Another one. Oh, not a snake, but a uh, plant. Sorry. Oh, we've only got one group of uh, strange pants. Let's let's fight. What could possibly go wrong? Well, let's see what happens now that we're all dead. Got a nice cemetery. Let's press return to leave. Uh, is this game so hardcore that? We would need to recreate the characters from scratch. This is this is wild. Let's see. They're all dead. Uh yeah, I'm not sure if there's any way uh aside from doing all of that over from scratch to make a new party. Let's see. This is hardcore. Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> Nobody's eligible. I gotta see if I can, uh, be... Maybe now that they're all dead, it'll let me re-resurrect them. Nope. So, yeah, I think that might do it here for me with, uh, Wizardry 3, uh, for Waza Day. Uh, but hopefully, you know, I've got enough information here that other people can actually play this game now because I don't think uh, this game has been very playable by many people uh, there's a bunch of issues with the copy protection but uh, the WAS disc images should get around that uh, I'm not sure what's up with the with the scenario disc WAS that's in the WAS a day collection but I'll have a link below to the documentation and where you can get the uh, other scenario disc WAS uh, as well as a link to the video for how to create a wizardry one character disc and import them and instantly die like I did uh, and if you like uh, extremely difficult early RPGs like this, then go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next Walls of Day.